and out. Open your mouth and speak. Thank you, Master of Ceremonies, Honorable Judges, Fellow 4-H members, and special guests. Real-world experience. Skills that you use in every day-to-day -day life. Skills that in the modern world you need to have, you need to know to survive. According to our school system, those skills include knowing what Pythagorean theorem is, knowing what happened in 18th century Europe, and being able to interpret Shakespearean text. Those are just a few of the skills that our school system deems necessary to gain a high school diploma. According to our school system, skills such as organization, public speaking, and professionalism <coughs> take a back seat to types of knowledge that the system deems more important. Today I'm going to share with you my opinion as a grade 12 student on what I think about our education system. My dilemma is that I don't fully understand why some areas of knowledge are included in our curriculum and others are not. I can't comprehend how the knowledge of professionalism and healthy living is deemed less important than academic knowledge such as math, science, and humanities. Yes, there is an argument that you need the COM, Career and Life Management course, and Gym 10 to graduate. But when looking at how much these courses are actually integrated into our school system, it is clear to see that they take a back backseat. Look at it in this perspective. To graduate, you need Gym 10, COM, Math 20, Science 20, Language 30, and Social 30. This is a total of 10 mandatory credits on knowledge based on healthy living. And 50 credits of mandatory knowledge based on academic courses. This is a 10 to 50 ratio. Now I understand the importance of being competent in how our world works and being able to communicate literarily, but I think our education puts too much emphasis on what can be learned in books. There are individuals who are labeled book smart, academically strong. They excel in those academic courses. They will most likely go on to university or college. Book smart, but not life smart. Then there are some individuals that may not be quite academically strong. They may pursue a trade. They might take apprenticeships and learn everything about that trade, but not a lot on life skills. This is where I think our education system has failed. Tasks that seem simple and small to many of us, some students don't have any knowledge on. Mental health, body image, healthy relationships, finances, public speaking, professionalism. The education of real life, of the literal world around us is undervalued in our education system. I believe the basics of these life skills should be equally as important as the academic aspects of education. When young adults are thrust into the real world, they don't think about how Napoleon would deal with the situation. They try to find their footing, grasping at straws, trying to get a job, but being so nervous at the job interview that they don't get it. Trying to put a down payment on a house, but because they don't have the credit, the money management skills, they don't get the house. Eating out every single night, because they don't know how easy it is to cook their own meal. Yes, academics are important. But what good is that academic knowledge if you can't support yourself? I believe that skills and knowledge on life-based skills should be taught throughout every aspect of a child's education. The education system is getting there. Now in language arts, as a final mark, you have to present a portfolio as well as an interview to your teacher and your class. But that's not enough. The comm course needs to be not one five-credit mandatory course. It should be 15 credits, mandatory, from grades 10 to 12. There should be 10 mandatory credits on life-based classes, such as financial management or foods. I think that if the school system puts emphasis on these life-based skills, it would produce a much more self-sufficient, productive, and withstanding generation. But we're not there yet. 
So in closing, I would just like to tell you one of the quotes. One of my most influential teachers, Mr. Corbin Urbach, said to me, don't let school get in the way of your education.